This is Melissa McGinnis with Long Beach Local News, and we're about to discuss a very critical topic. In fact, my guest calls it a potential epidemic here in Long Beach. My guest is Joni Weir. She comes as a, the president of Better Housing for Long Beach, which is a nonprofit, and we'll talk about more about what that nonprofit does. It's a service provider, which is really great. But today you're going to provide us with some tips on ways that maybe you viewers could protect yourself against what seems to be happening over and over again here in Long Beach. We got a tip from Hope Broderson. She said her friend experienced this, which I think is just completely tragic. And it's about when you're going to rent a property. Yes, yes. There is a, a problem going on where uh, when, a, when a property owner or a management company posts a listing, some people are downloading that listing and then reposting it with their information on it. And then they're collecting people's deposits. So we have to be really careful to um, watch out for that. And uh, I, that actually happened to me last month. Um, I got contacted by a potential renter who said that they had seen my ad listed somewhere else. And they were pressuring her to send a deposit immediately. So the thing we have to really be careful about is sending a deposit in the mail or sending a, a direct deposit into somebody's account without properly having a contract and actually going to the property with the person and knowing that that person is actually representing that property. So this happened to our viewer who called in to tell us um, she literally spent her life savings with a deposit uh -huh. and you know sometimes you're asked for first and last That's month's right. rent and sent it in only to find out, I think a day later, that the property really wasn't the person who collected her money's right. property. Absolutely. So this is an epidemic. This is happening all through the city, which I think is terrifying. What are some tips, some ways that we can protect ourselves? Well, one thing you want to remember is if, if the price seems so below market that it's crazy, it probably is too good to be true, and it probably isn't a, a real listing. So you have to be careful about those fake ads that mark the rent. If the, if the rent is an average of eleven ninety five and somebody's offering it for 500 that might be a red flag waving. So you want to be careful of that. The other thing is somebody pressuring you quickly to get a deposit. If it's a good, a good property owner doesn't pressure anybody because they want to do their due diligence and you need to do your due diligence as a renter to make sure that this is a good property management company or owner. So it's a, it's a relationship you're getting into. So you don't want to just run off with the first uh, property owner that you um, come in contact with. You want to make sure this person is legitimate. You want to go to the property. You want to drive the property at night. You want to talk to some of the, the other uh, tenants in the building. Make sure this is a place you really want to be because then you might find out information that this person isn't really the manager of the building. So do a That's little a bit of point. research. Snoop around. Snoop or you got to snoop. That's a good yeah. point. So uh, you mentioned obviously if it's too good to be true. That's to me, you know, sometimes you get tricked into thinking, oh, this Absolutely. is great, too good to be true. And then you layer that on top of someone pressuring to send, send the yeah. money right away. Maybe you, you don't, don't want to lose it. Yeah. Right. You yeah. don't want to lose it. Um, in this instance that these things occur, is, is a person actually showing the property? Could that be another sign if yes. the property is not being shown? Well, sometimes they are. And what's, what's happening is somebody will sublease and then sit there in the sublet and then collect deposits. And so you have to, even if they show you the property, you need a contract and you need to do a little research to make sure everything is on the up and up. So you got to do all your footwork to make sure. Okay, well, we appreciate you coming in and discussing this topic. Again, we just want to help prevent this from happening to you, our viewers. Mm -hmm. It's happening up and down all around Long Beach right now, so definitely arm yourself. Be prepared. I think another good way to be prepared is to come visit you. Absolutely. We offer uh, better housing for Long Beach. We meet every Sunday at noon. And you, you, if you're looking for a property, it's a great place to meet good property owners because they are concerned about the neighborhoods. They show up at these meetings, and they're very involved in the community. Um, we meet every uh, Sunday at noon. It's at the Cambodian Center, and I was going to, it's 2338 East Anaheim Street, and renters and property owners are welcome to come and educate themselves on issues in the community that are going on. I think that's such a great place for people to come together and maybe even say, I'm 
something sounds fishy, get mm -hmm. some input from other absolutely. individuals. Absolutely. But you could even ask about, is does this sound too good to be true? Is this kind of the market value in that area in terms of the rent? You yep. would have all of those answers. Your absolutely. Group absolutely. We can offer that. And you'll be able to meet good people that may, you may be able to get you a unit that you wouldn't have known about. Because some property owners don't list their properties because of this. It's all referral now. That's a really great point. Well, we love your nonprofit. Better Housing for Long Beach really has a synergistic relationship between renters and property owners because it is a relationship. Take advantage of this nonprofit. If you have any questions, please reach out to Miss Weir. Yes. And um, join her on Sundays. And it was at the Cambodian Center. It's noon Sundays if you have any further questions. Thank you again. Thank you. Oh, and you can check us out at www.betterhousingforlongbeach.com. Check it out. Thank you.